You have volunteered for a covert assignment with Special Operations Command in conjunction with Galactic Terran Basudan Intelligence. Our primary objective is to provide the Alliance with accurate and comprehensive information regarding the tactics, technologies, activities, and strategic objectives of forces hostile to the GTVA. Missions with the Special Operations Command are carried out deep in enemy territory with minimal logistical support. Our behind-the-lines activities include infiltration, sabotage, surgical strikes, and intelligence gathering. You will be working undercover within the Neo-Terran Front, leading Alpha Wing of the 185th Fighter Squadron. Your contact in this mission is Lieutenant Commander Christopher Snipes, an Allied officer who staged his defection to the NTF six months ago. As squadron leader of the 185th, Snipes will advise you of your mission objectives both as an NTF pilot and as an Allied operative. You will be equipped with a device that will enable you and Snipes to communicate over a secure frequency in battle. NTF ships will interpret your transmissions as targeting data. The focus of this covert operation is the NTF's ETAC project. Because access to information is restricted to the highest echelon, our knowledge here is limited. ETAC involves the development of a new cutting-edge technology, possibly a weapon of mass destruction. Admiral Bosch oversees the project directly, and the Rebels are constructing a prototype on the Iceni command ship. We need to get a closer look. Even a scan of the Iceni would be valuable. We are working with the full cooperation of the Sudan Tactical Command and the Terran 6th Fleet. The probability that you will engage Allied fighters will be minimal. However, should you come under Allied attack, you have limited authorization to return fire and self-defense or to complete your mission objectives as defined by Lieutenant Commander Snipes. Show restraint and use your judgment. This is Lieutenant Commander Snipes. For all you replacement pilots, welcome to the 185th. As you know, Admiral Koth's defeat in Epsilon Pegasi has opened the Polaris system to Allied attack. At 1425 hours, GTVA expeditionary forces crossed our Jumno blockade. The Colossus won't be far behind. Bosch isn't taking chances. We're moving the Iceni command ship to the regular system, where Bosch will install his provisional government. We've practiced this drill before, pilots. Alpha and Beta Wing will escort the Iceni to the jump node. Delta, you're on standby. The Regulus node is located within a small asteroid field. Our job is to clear a path. Asteroids on a collision course with the Iceni will be indicated in white brackets on your HUD. That's how you know which asteroids to shoot. The gunners on the Iceni will help us out, so we shouldn't have too much trouble. Alpha-1, do you copy? We're on a secure channel. We need a scan of the Iceni. Target the warship and close to 600 meters. Keep the ship's lead indicator in the center of your reticle. That's strange. I don't know what any of this means. We'll see what our analysts come up with back home. What's that science cruiser doing out here? NTF Command never briefed me about it. Must have something to do with ETAC. Nice job, pilot. Never know what you're gonna find till you take a look. Allied forces now jumping in. We've got a Mentu class cruiser with fighter escort and a wing of bombers. All units, defend the Iceni. All right, kids, here's the game plan. We'll take out fighters and bombers first, and blast that cruiser back to Vasuda Prime. Something's wrong here. The command said the Vasudans wouldn't attack until the Iceni left Polaris. Either we've been double-crossed or these Vasudans are not following orders. It's an us-or-them situation, pilot. All right, here are the rules. Neutralize anything that attacks the Iceni. Take out beam turrets and shoot down bombs. They fire on you, fire right back. You don't defend yourself, you'll die out here, Alpha-1. These Vasudans are renegades.
received an update from the Epsilon Pegasi blockade. More of the Sudan warships are on their way. The Iceni will proceed to the Regulus node as planned. All units, defend the Iceni and the Hinton. They must reach the Regulus system. The future of Neoterra depends on it.
Good job, pilots. Admiral Bosch and the Iceni have reached the regular system. Let's get back to base on the double. All right, pilot, I've got some good news and some bad news. Good news is we got the Iceni and the Hinton to Regulus. The scan data you collected has been transmitted to the GTVI, and our operation to uncover the secret of ETAC continues as planned. The bad news is we're in a lot more danger than I think you realize. The Vesudan warships were under the command of Admiral Amos, who had full knowledge of our activities. The fact the Vesudans knew the exact time and position of the Iceni's departure has made the rebels just a little suspicious. As usual, the GTVA is overplaying its hand. Amos and his subordinates now face a court-martial for insubordination. The Rebs are all over that one. Not only did the Admiral know the position of the Iceni, he wasn't authorized to act on that information. Our squadron will be high on the NTF's list of suspects. One more thing. The pilots under Amos's command had been informed of his renegade status before they launched their attack. Under these circumstances, we had little choice but to return fire or blow the entire operation. Watch your back, pilot. This ain't gonna get any easier. As you have no doubt already heard, the GVD Samtic has destroyed the NTD Cyrene, flagship of the Sirius fleet. As bad as things look in Polaris, the situation in Sirius is even worse. Bosch has redeployed our battle group to reinforce NTF positions in that system. We arrive in Sirius in six hours. The 185th will be deployed immediately to rendezvous with the NTT Sunder. Our mission will be to escort the transport back to the Regulus jump node. The cargo on board the Sunder has been classified well beyond my level of clearance. Let's just say if the Sunder goes down, so do we. The Alliance is fighting to secure the Alpha Centauri and Deneb jump nodes. So Intelligence believes the risk of engagement will be low. Of course, that's what they told us in Polaris, where we got jumped by half of a suit in Armada. Expect the unexpected, kids, and report to the flight deck at 1310 sharp. Dismissed.
warn you, Alpha-1. I rigged these fighters with jamming devices and core detonators. The crew chief of the 185th is an Allied operative, so she helped me out. These detonators were a piece of junk. I even followed the directions. At least we mopped up quickly. Spies like us call it sanitizing. The jamming devices should have blocked their transmissions to Rebel Command. But with the luck we're having, the NTF Armada will arrive any second now. Our mission, Alpha-1, is to hijack the NTT Sunder. The transport pilot is one of us, so he'll follow course. We need to make the Rebels think the Sunder has been destroyed. A decoy transport will arrive in a few minutes. Stand easy, pilots. We received a partial transmission reporting a reactor core breach. What happened to your squad? We were ambushed by an Allied heavy recon unit flying some new kind of fighter. They splashed my squad and jumped before we could take them down. New kind of fighter, huh? You can tell us all about it at your debriefing. Why don't you rearm and repair, and we'll help you finish your escort. We've got more backup in transit, Alpha and Beta. We just need to hold down the fort a few minutes. Some of that transmission got through. I can't tell if they're onto us or not. Let's play their game for now. I've got some friends coming, so don't panic. Alpha-1, engage Rebel fighters. Break to attack. Go, go, go! ship remains operational, no one on the outside will know what we're up to. As far as the NTF is concerned, we're still loyal and devoted rebel pilots. So watch the Hamako, alright? If we lose the AWACS, our cover's blown for good. The NTC Miley has jumped in. Watch the flak! Comes the Hellespont, Aeolus class.
now scuttle this decoy transport. The Rebs think we destroyed the Sunder, they won't know how much we know. We'll also be able to continue our covert operation. Of course, that's if they don't hang us for failing the mission. We might be pushing our luck here, but what the hell. Alright, Alpha-1, all we need to do is wait for the NTF. Hold your position. This is the NTCV-7, 2nd Battle Group Regulus. What's your status, pilots? We were instructed to rendezvous with a transport. Severin, you're late. Bassoon has blasted my entire squad and two cruisers out here. You want a rendezvous? Scan that debris field. That's the Sunder right there. You're a disgrace to the NTF, Severin. I'm filing a report. Stand down, Beta-1. We followed our orders to the letter. Now get back to base before the Bassoon's return. There's nothing more we can do out here. Thanks to our heist, the Sunder is now in Allied custody. With our scan of the Iceni and the capture of the Rebel transport, the GTVI can begin to unravel the secret of Bosch's ETAC project. The CEO of the Severn has taken the brunt of Bosch's wrath for the Sunder's alleged destruction. The captain and his lieutenants have faced a summary court-martial and will be executed at 0700. When you sign up for the wrong outfit, you get what you deserve. This doesn't mean we're out of the woods yet. The Rebs are nuts, but they're not slow. It won't take them long to figure out our involvement in this attack and the Basudan ambush in Polaris was more than just coincidence. If it looks like they're onto you, your duty as an operative of the GTVI is to escape and report everything you know to Allied forces. Understood?